Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for January 17th through the 23rd. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Leo, let's see what we have for you for the week ahead. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading, any heavy placements. So please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. Cross watchers are welcome. Could actually be a reading or messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. So welcome in, Leah. Welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, Leo. Everything you need to know is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. Um, you can check out all your January readings. There's a 2022 yearly reading, a new moon in Capricorn, full moon in Cancer out there as well. And uh, I know the uh, new moon in Cancer already went by, but technically we're still in the Cancer, uh, Capricorn season for just a little bit longer. So if you'd like to check that out as well. And if you're new here, I do eight readings a month to a week. I do a weekly reading like this one. It's a sneak peek for the week ahead. And it's definitely a lot shorter. And the monthlies and the new moon and full moon readings are definitely a lot longer. So you check those out if you would like to. All right. Leo, let's see what we have for you. Choose a new direction. Hmm. What is that about? We have the saint of spoken words. Every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Okay, and we have magic. 31, four, very um, stable, grounded energy, foundation, basis. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move toward possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestation. I think here, Leo, it's, it's time, whatever you're trying to manifest, Leo, it could be that you're kind of stuck in between two energies and you need to really believe in the magic of the direction you're trying to go in and you really need to choose that direction and leave something behind that's no longer serving you because I feel like this magic, I mean, only you can create your, uh, your own destiny and I feel like you're kind of uh, halting this magical new beginning from coming in because you're not fully choosing it. Kind of, it's like written in the stars here. Kind of like magician energy here uh, with the wand. And we have magic right there. So you have to believe that, you have to believe in the magic in the universe and believe that if you choose this direction and you create um, this for yourself, that the universe will have your back. All right. And that it will manifest for you. All right, so you have to be in positive vibration, you know, trusting, faith, hope, optimism, very optimistic energy as well, positive affirmations. All right, it's kind of like you have to believe in the magic of the universe. Page of Cups, which you may not be doing here. <laughs> that is Pisces energy. And it could also be if you've been waiting for, like, for... A lover to magically appear it may not be happening with this page of cups in reverse so that could be why uh, the universe is telling you to go in a new direction now this kind of fell sideways so that is the magician it's a challenge so i think you're i feel like you're at a crossroads you're not really trusting in the universe which is trying to guide you here with the page of cups <clears throat> To believe in this magical new beginning that you're trying to create for yourself and also i think someone is very challenged right now on creating or manifesting some sort of new beginning with you so definitely no communication coming in right now with the page of cups in reverse that love offer the apology no romantic gestures is not coming through at all so um so we have gemini virgo with the magician and we have pisces page of cups ten of pentacles so see that your wealth abundance prosperity is trying to come in here and we have the hangman so you're kind of still in limbo here not really believing or trusting maybe some of you 
So this is about new perspectives, enlightenment. But usually that's just a brief pause and then we take action. Pisces energy again. Five of Pentacles. So you may be fearing loss or having lack or not having not having enough abundance come in if you fully do this. So it could definitely be about a business venture, you know, maybe starting a new business or being an entrepreneur or something to that effect. Page of Wands. So this is good news. You know, exciting, fiery, passionate communication as well. And we have the Six of Pentacles. So things being in balance. This is like the minor of justice for me. So this is about equal give and take. I mean, I don't know, always take it. I mean, yeah, someone could have breadcrumbed you in the past and never really communicated how they truly felt with that page of cups in reverse. So it could be that a new beginning be between you and somebody else was kind of halted, you know, in limbo here with the hangman. You know, definitely someone could have been ghosted here with the five of pentacles, waiting for communication to come in, that equal give and take. Let's see what else do we have here for you leo so we have the queen of wands which definitely could be you for me it's aries but definitely could be you leo sagar aries we have the five of swords which could be conflict sabotage uh challenge uh defeat and we have temperance which is the um sagittarius energy here archangel gabriel trying to bring two soulmates together but i feel like Someone is really, really conflicted about this connection here. Um, you know, they feel defeated or you feel defeated about this connection. I mean, the universe is trying to bring it in here with temperance. It's about peace, harmony, balance, uh, peace, harmony, joy, but having patience. So you may, you know, you may be a little conflicted here about, you know, should I keep patiently waiting in a way for this person or should I move on? as well and you could be doing something here to sabotage your own energy regarding some sort of magical new beginning you're trying to create for yourself because you're not fully stepping into the energy again you could be you know a little stressed out nervous about this like well if i do it what if it doesn't work what if i don't make enough money what if it falls through you know then what do i do then four of cups so you're not really you know the universe again handing you all these signs, symbols, uh, recognition that you need, but yet you're kind of ignoring it. And then we do have soulmate union here with the two of cups. Again, the universe is trying to bring you together with a soulmate as well. But some sort of change may happen here, happen here with the tower. Um, universe may step in. Some sort of change, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. We have Aries energy here. Could be a crumbling down of something too so i feel like if you don't fully step into this magical new beginning for yourself the universe may step in in whatever situation you're in that you're not fully um leaving behind to choose this new direction i feel like the universe here may step in with a tower moment that kind of forces you out of one energy and into this uh new beginning that you're kind of being stuck about conflict yeah definitely conflicted about here definitely probably overthinking here with the hermit virgo energy but see it's fate and destiny here so things will be will get better go in the right direction fate destiny divine timing positive movement forward things definitely moving and going in the right direction more money coming in as well but see they're waiting for you to take swift quick action here aquarius energy as well oh my gosh so i mean look at this <laughs> We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is, you know, Capricorn, but it's also being abundant, secure, safe, grounded, not having to worry, making your money, making your coin. Can also be someone who wants to be a loyal, stable, grounded partner as well. Two of Wands, so definitely at a crossroads, need to, needing to choose that path and looking out into the future. Then we also have a King of Pentacles, so we actually have a match here, the King and Queen of Pentacles. So we do have like a power couple match here which there actually could be no communication right now, High Priestess. But something is about to change. So I feel like um, with the world, something needs to close out. New cycles starting. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Could be travel or distance here. It, it could be that you're waiting for someone to choose a new direction also and believe and have a positive attitude towards this magical connection. I don't feel like it's happening right now. I mean, it could in the future. 
Um, I do see equal give and take here. And Temperance is trying to bring this together, but it could be this person is just not believing in the magic in the wonder of um, this connection. So, you know, it could be telling you to choose a new direction. Just, you know, keep doing you. Um, and, you know, if other opportunities come around, I would say go for it. Uh, I feel like this person will eventually um, see the light kind of here with the hangman. It's going to take him a hot minute. So it's whether or not you want to wait for them, uh, Leo. But also you need to believe in yourself and that this new direction is meant for you because the universe is telling you to believe in it also. So I think you just need to step into this magical new direction and believe that uh, the story will play out the way you hope it to be. So let's get you some advice and guidance for you, Leo. Advice and guidance for you, Leo. You're definitely like magician sideways is being um, in challenge position that it's a real challenge for you to totally believe and manifest and step into this new beginning so you're like you're halfway like in between two worlds kind of and the ten of pentacles is sitting right there so until you turn this magician upright i'll do it for you and you step into this new beginning you're stepping right into the ten of pentacles but i feel like you need to overcome the fear of not su not succeeding i feel all right Leo. Let's get you some advice and guidance for Leo. Let's read too many advice and guidance for Leo here. Prayer and contemplation. Connect with heaven. Ask and you shall receive. So there you go. <laughs> Inner strength. Well, strength, that is Leo. That is you. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. Exactly. It's time to step into your power. There's a fire right there, Leo. You are a fire sign. Commander Ashtar, call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. It's time to step in and be that leader, Leo. You're being called to action. We do have forgiveness here. Master Jesus, Jesus, if I can speak, which is the ultimate divine feminine, uh, masculine. Oh my gosh, Mary, get it together. You are on the right path. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Master Jesus to me is the ultimate divine masculine. So you definitely could have the masculine coming back asking for forgiveness because I haven't come through with the offer. <coughs> Sorry, I do see communication coming in eventually. So whether or not you want to wait for this person or choose a new direction away from this person, um, but you need to step into your leader role, whatever that means for you, because I feel like the universe is really, really um, calling you to action right now, Leo. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. So thank you so much for being here. It's truly appreciated. Don't forget to check out your January readings, your 2022 readings, uh, your new moon, full moon readings as well. I'll be starting the February readings after these. So keep a lookout for that. So thank you so much for being here. Wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.